Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl A. Marie. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys a eyeshadow look, a makeup look with $3 eyeshadow palettes. I did this look before I even brought it to camera and I posted it on my Snapchat and my Instagram and a lot of you said that you guys wanted to see how I created that look with the $3 eyeshadow palette, so I'm here to give you that today. Before we go any further, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification, rate this video, and give me a comment down below. And yeah, let's jump into it. So the $3 eyeshadow palettes are these Nika K's 9 pan eyeshadow palettes. I got them from my local beauty supply store and I do have Sugar Plum, which is all purples. And then I got Poison Apple, which is pinks and reds. And I thought these were so freaking cute that I was like, you know what? I got to pick them up. And plus these were the only two shade ranges that I seen in my beauty supply. I thought they were new, but after me posting it on my Instagram, someone told me that Nika K. Ben came out with these. I decided then like, oh my God, I need to go to the beauty supply store a lot more often because these are really good palettes. And I thought with them being a Nika K. palette, not just a Nika K. palette, just beauty supply store palettes or being sold in a beauty supply. I didn't think they would have like much pigmentation or anything to it. So true enough, I only picked up two because I was just not that convinced, but the colors and the shades looked real pretty. And they're retailing for $1.99 at the beauty supply store. So that's why I say $3, but they're really $2 palettes. So, I wanted to give you guys a tutorial using these palettes just so you guys could see how the pigmentation is real. And I may or may not post this closer to Valentine's Day because these are, to me, Valentine colors. They're romantic, they're soft and glamorous and very pretty. So, I think you could create a nice Valentine's Day look on a date with your boot. So I did pull in my Juvia's Place Festival palette only because in the Nika K palette it didn't have a transition shade that I would like. So I pulled in Aura, 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 and that is the only shade I use to blend out my transition. So we're done with this palette. You can use the pinks and the reds, excuse me the pinks and the reds as a transition color which i did but this time i wanted to kind of switch it up so i am gonna go into the sugar plum palette and we're gonna use this pink to place underneath that transition color and we're gonna see what that's looking like or given. You know what? I'm actually gonna mix this pink with this pink and these are matte shades. So in the Sugar Plum palette, we have three mattes and six shimmers. In the Poison Apple, you have four mattes and five shimmers in this palette. So they give you, she gives you a mixture of mattes and shimmers and I think it's pretty good, but I am missing for two, I'm missing two things out of the palette. I'm missing a black and I'm missing a transition shade. So that's why I decided to mix these two pinks from the Sugar Plum palette. And we're just gonna see what it looks like mixed with the Juvia's Place Oro. And you guys know I like tapping my eyeshadows in before actually blending. And I do knock off just a little bit. And you see how the pigmentation is showing up. You know what? I'm going to bring you guys in so we can see this. So there we go. And you guys don't talk about me coming on camera without my hair done. 
I have a issue that's going on with my hair right now and I'm not understanding it, but I haven't wore wigs or any type of weave in my hair for a good minute and my hair for some reason is falling out from the edges back. But I'm trying to figure out different ways to get my hair to grow back. So warning, I'm letting you guys know warning I'm gonna show you guys but it is horrible so as you can tell we're starting to receive right here and it's badly on this side but once we come this way it goes all the way back and on this side it's even worse you see it come all the way back here you guys don't know but I was down for a few weeks well for about a week recently and literally I wasn't doing my hair at all I was just brushing and combing my hair and putting it in a loose ponytail I was in the bed majority of the time that I was down so I wasn't even doing my hair and I haven't wore a wig since October-ish if you guys know any protective styles that would keep my edges and stuff safe, let your girl know down below because I honestly don't know what's going on. Uh, back to the eye look. Now I'm going to go into Poison Apple and I'm going to use this matte burgundy shade right here to deepen up my crease and I'm going to show you guys, look at the pigmentation on that. It swatches patchy and not as opaque, but wait till I put this color on my eyes. Like, it is really a pretty dark color. So I am gonna go in with that and I'm just gonna place it. And the eyeshadows are not patchy and they don't do too much falling out. They're really good and they blend out crazy good to say it's a two dollar palette it blends out crazy good now once again the only thing i'm missing is a deep shade to darken up this crease even more but it's all gonna work out still so i do want to go in in the poison apple with this goldy shade right here you see the fallout, you see the chunkiness, but the color is pretty. This is a rose gold type of color and I did learn, they're very creamy and soft. I did learn if you use your finger to place them on, that it gives you a better payoff, which most champagne, well, let me not even say champagne, most shimmer shades do and i do have on an eye base but i did set this eye base with um cody airspun so y'all see how pretty that is and sorry if you guys hear outside it is raining been raining all morning and it is ugly outside there is some fallout. I know you guys see the fallout, but it is shimmer. So now I'm gonna go into the poison, no, the sugar plum, and tap over that champagne, the rose gold shade. I'm gonna tap over it. This is a lighter champagne color. And I'm just gonna tap over and make it a little brighter. Now you guys see me do my face routine many a times I am gonna do some wing liner and then I'm gonna do my face and then I'll come back to do the lashes come back to do the lashes in the bottom and then we will be done I am gonna speed through the face part though 